Meghan Markle takes aim at Queen in new book as Duchess highlights Prince Harry's dormant. Meghan Markle has taken aim at the Queen in her new children's book, a royal expert has claimed, pointing out the Duchess has used the book to highlight Prince Harry's anguish. Meghan Markle has penned a children's book inspired by her husband Prince Harry, and their son, Archie. The book, which is due to be published on June 8, details the special bond between father and son, as seen through a mother's eyes. A royal expert has claimed the Duchess is using the book to take a swipe at one of the terms of the Megxit agreement, something Harry has deeply upset about. One of the pages of the beautifully illustrated book features a military man returning home to his family, hugging his son in the garden. The wife can be seen tearfully looking at the embrace from the window. Commenting on this, Royal author Philip Dampier said Meghan is clearly using the book to highlight how upset Harry was to lose his military titles. He told Fabulous, the illustration of a red-haired soldier, obviously you know who, hugging his little boy, looks as though he has come home from war after many years and pulls at the hard strings. Mum is in tears as she looks through the window and sees her husband returning from battle to pick up family life once more. It's a scenario familiar to so many military couples separated by conflicts. But of course it wasn't a reality for Harry, who was in a different relationship when he served in Afghanistan. Rather Meghan is probably showing how much the army meant to Harry and how upset he is to lose his military titles. The Queen decided he could not be half in and half out of the royal family and therefore he could no longer continue with his honorary associations, including being Captain General of the Royal Marines. For Harry, who put his life on the line and then founded the highly successful Invictus Games for injured servicemen and women, losing the titles was the bitterest part of Megxit. Before stepping down as a senior royal, the Duke of Sussex held the titles Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Base Homington and honorary commodore-in-chief of the Royal Naval Command small ships and diving. But when Meghan and Harry first announced their decision to step down as senior members of the royal family, it was announced the Duke would temporarily lose his three honorary military titles. Buckingham Palace said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex understand that they are required to step back from royal duties including official military appointments. Mr. Dampier added that Meghan's inclusion of the military scene served to remind readers about Harry's in the armed forces. He said, the issue was so sensitive that the Queen decided no man at Prince Philip's funeral would dress in military outfits as Harry could only wear a civilian mourning suit. He would have stuck out like a sore thumb as if he was being punished. And Meghan is reminding readers that Harry did fight in the front line. The loss of his military titles was reportedly devastating for the Duke and the Royal had been holding out hope the roles would be reinstated after his 12-month Megxit review. Meghan later told a friend the decision to strip Harry of his military on was so unnecessary, according to the book Finding Freedom. In February this year, it was confirmed that Prince Harry would be officially stripped of his honorary military titles, as he had no plans to return as a frontline royal.